Good morning. This is Susan Smith with Steam Creatively, and I am mixing it up. I mean, we can't do the same thing all the time. So what I decided to do yesterday, I got together with some other of my team, and instead of opening, doing a paper pumpkin opening, which I got my kit, and I wanted to do it while I was together with my friends, so I made the cards like Stampin' Up! did, and then I've been working on alternatives this morning to so show you some different things because I like our paper pumpkins. I like getting them in the mail. So let me show you what Stampin' Up! had me do with uh, projects. So it's a little um, kind of like a countryside theme to it this month. It has this cute little bag. Which we, which I like. It's cute. You can, if you're a pumpkin pa paper, <laughs> paper pumpkin subscriber, you can get this and get extra bags, and they have extra kits. And my goal is, every month we get about nine cards. Sometimes it varies, but the average is nine. And my goal is to mail them before the next paper pumpkin comes. So here are the ones that I'm going to be mailing this month. Last month it was. In colors and it was real happy next month it's got um, it coordinates with a little bottle set but this month it's got a cute little berry basket which um, this sticks up so that one's cute again these are how Stephen have told me to do them there's this one that's oh this one says you're the sweetest this one says you're the pick of the crop with a little um, flower wagon and then this one has what looks like a clear plastic bag with some loaves of bread, some um, pretty flowers, and then some cheese. And it says, thinking of you. Okay, so I did one alternative with each of them. In the kit this month, we had Calypso Coral. We have all of this that I cut apart that you can't really see, but it's all here, all the little pieces. And because we got the bag, there's no bling. So I'll be adding my own embellishments to them because they need them. I just haven't decided which ones to use. So for one of the alternatives, I really didn't change this a ton. I cut apart the berry and put it inside. There's a berry out here. I changed the words and I added Wink of Stella to it. This one was kind of a little bit harder to come up with an alternative, but I have an idea for the next one already. When we were working with this yesterday, I wanted to do it with my friends. Um, we decided we were going to stamp together. So sometimes creative brains and masses are quite fun. And there's lots of extras. So like with the berries, I have lots of extra berries. I only have one more card to make, and I have three of these. So they send you lots of extras so you can do different things with them. I just kind of liked the berry basket the way it was. This one is the one that had the bread in the bag. I just flipped it over and folded it a little bit different. It still looks like a picnic square, but I just wanted the flowers. I cut apart one of these flowers. Oh, you know what? I don't even pay any attention to see. Y'all, I thought this would be fun because if you're watching me and you have ideas of what I can do, or you'd like to see me do something, let me know. I'm going to try to look at comments. You may... <laughs> I don't know how long they stay. Again, I'm trying to mix it up. I have a tendency to do the same thing. So um, we're taking me way out of my comfort zone. So here's this one, folded like this. Again, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, it's a good thing. Okay, so this one was my last one that I was working on. The card base comes like this. And I wanted to fold it like I did the other one and flip around and do this and like that. So I decided to add, um, it's got this cute little stamp set that comes with it that says, you're the pick of the crop, thinking of you, love you a whole bunch, you're the sweetest. It's got a strawberry, a little bunch of blueberries, a big hello, some little I don't know, little dots, and then a pretty flower. So this one, I cut apart the basket. I put the hello on it. I put it on a white card base, and I was going to put the, um, 
this pink color in here and I decided I liked the flowers in there. So I cut these apart. I still need to do some more to this. I want to add some bling and I may add some ribbon. The twine that it came with is this, but that's not what I want on here. So I'll add some more to it. I'll put it in the um, pictures. Okay, so now this, if you're wondering what all this is, these are little loaves of bread. They're a little weird looking to me. Like when I did my first card that had the bread on it, the bread looks like this. I had to round the corners because I bake a lot of bread and none of my bread looks like this. This, it kind of reminded me of um, almost like flower petals. Like, you know, like that could be a flower. I saw all kinds of things with it. There were a ton of these and I couldn't decide whether to make them flowers or what to do. Um, they're not scooching on my desk the way they're supposed to. Move, 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 move. So the pink, what I want to do with this why are we all sticking? They're not adhesive back. Okay, it's just or too early for them this morning. So the bag, what I want to do is take this pink part that I cut out, and it's just stamping on the bag because you don't always get a high success rate with that. I want to um, put a tag on here. So I want to put a tag on here, and I want to do, I, I think I want to put the berries on there. Um, I've kind of gone round and round, with it, but I know I definitely want to make a tag on this, and I thought I would use this other piece of the card that I cut in half. I brought a lot of stuff on my desk for me to work with, um, with you, and, but I didn't have, I don't know, this may not work. I may be doing this live and telling you all this stuff, and then go back and go, I should have done that differently. Okay, but we all give each other grace, right? If, again, if you have any suggestions for how you'd like to see this done, please let me know. But when I post this, because I'll post this on YouTube, um, I will have um, some different, uh, I'll have pictures so you can see it. And I can put it on the Facebook too. Okay, this is the last one of this. So see how this goes on here? It goes on there and it raises up. This is the one, the card that I kind of like. I had thought about um, going in and fussy cutting these off. So the peaches and raspberries were cut off. Let's try that. That's what I had in my head. It's always so interesting, but I love this color. I hate that it's on the back that nobody sees it. But again, I can't flip this one. I guess I, no, I can't because it's like this. So that won't work either. All right, so let's cut this off. When you open these boxes, you see the cards. I look at everything and then I see how stamp it up. Um, sent me the instructions but I just see the alternatives of what I could do with them as soon as I see them that's how the stamp brain works sometimes right are you guys paper pumpkin subscribers I ask a question then I have to try to look um, I like it it's improved a lot over the years um, I like the challenge that it gives me to create, again, to create something different. But if I don't want any challenge, I always order more than one. And I will sit down and just put them together real quick, which I like to do. This is how my friend at the Wonder Basement does her videos. She's really good at doing um, almost what I would call freestyle stamping. Not necessarily having a plan. For me, I like a plan. I like all my stuff here. But I was trying something a little bit different. We had a great time stamping yesterday. We all brought new product. The goal is to bring something that the others don't have, so we make the others like it. They're trying to make me like a set in the upcoming July to December class. And if I'm not going to like it, if they can't get me to like it, they're going to like bribe my grandchildren to get me to like it. I mean, I kind of work with evil people. I don't like the dang set. Okay. <laughs> Friends, remember I tell you I always need to close my stamp pads. If I don't, I have schmutz right there, schmutz. I did it. So maybe I need to use this pink piece in here 
and cut another piece of cardstock for my tag. I may have to do that because I smudged it. I kind of like the pink behind it though. I don't have a problem with that. All right, let's do it. That's what happens when you don't close your stamp pads. So I close them. And then I'll just trim off the ledge. Oh, that's cute. I like it. Okay, so I have these extra berries because it gave me extra berries. Oh, I have this too. I could do two rows of blueberries and raspberries. Let's see what that looks like when I open the card though. Hmm. Maybe a little weird. Oh, I could, duh. I could attach them back here and then it wouldn't be attached to the card. That's better. I can do that. I mean, it's still early. I'm going to do this this way. I'm going to close the card so I can kind of see where I want them. And I have the adhesive on the back. There. And I've added some berries. Oh, I like that. And then I have this berry. I'm still going to put this down at the bottom. Because it's cute. Oh, Mary says she's not fond of this paper pumpkin. You know what? I think it's cute. I The bread's a little weird. But I think this came out cute once I rounded the corners. I like these really well. It's still an easy thing to put together. Even if I'm not super fond of it, a lot of times I will put it together and send the cards because the person who gets it is fond of it. Um, but I, there again, some of them I really like the in colors last month. Um, I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to put it up here. And then I'm going to put some little bling. I'll add some bling to this. Oh, here's some cute little bling. This, oh, here's, this is my leftover bling from the new lunchbox kit, Flour Nourish and Flourish. These are these little peachy pearls. They're left over from that sitting on my workstation. Okay, I, I like that. Okay, that's three of that one. So we have one, two, three. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. And then these will all be in the pictures. I have to hit my phone to see the comments. So I apologize if you feel like I'm reaching. All right, what's, oh, this one. So this one, I saw somebody take this. This is the top. Now I cut the bottom off on that one that I need to um, add some ribbon to. But then they took the top and put it down here like a flower basket. So it had baskets of flowers instead of baskets of berries. So that's why I had my green stamp pad open. I like this stamp a lot. So I'm going to add some of this to my card so that I have more flowers coming out of my little pot. And I swear I have, um, I have a pot outside that looks very much like this. Okay, so I have this. I'm also going to put, oh, I don't like that. I'm going to seal this down, but I 
I'm also going to stick some dimensionals up here so it's a little raised basket at the top. I want to have some vellum pieces I still need to use. Okay, so let's stick this in here. I'm going to kind of do the same thing, raise it up at the back. Oh, that's so cute. And then with this one, I'm going to snip this off. So I have some shorter flowers. Now I have this twine. I'm going to add some twine to it. I'm going to make a bow with this. Basically, it's our linen thread. Which is one of my favorite. And I'm going to twist it. So I'm just twisting it in the middle. And then I'm going to add some glue dots. If you've never done a video, it's so weird to talk to nobody. You just sit here and you're, you're like having a conversation with yourself. And friends, sometimes that's a little weird. Okay, so I've got this. I like it. This is kind of an open space and I want, I'm, it's screaming for bling to me. But I want to use, look at this little dude. It's so cute and I still like the thinking of you. And this comes with a little vellum piece so it's supposed to go behind it so I'm going to attach that to each other and stick that I'm going to just get some seal on the back and stick it right in here oh that's cute now, it still screams to have something up here, so I will add um, some bling up there. I really like, um, we have some beautiful white iridescent pearls that would be pretty up there, but I like it. If I, no, I'm going to keep it just the way it is. I like it. My head, you know, you give more alternatives. Oh, let's use these. These are the those pretty peachy pearls from that the nourish and flourish the little lunchbox is so cute I did a video on it I just like it a lot it's really cute look now it has a little bling up there I like it okay let's do one more thank you Mary I'm gonna make you like this no not really so I still have lots of extras look at all these I've got this, I've got this, I've got some more berries, some more of this. I have tons of these. This is all the extra stuff that I still don't use, and I only have one more card base to use. So this is my last card base. And this one was probably my favorite because um, I could do, this is how I do that. And I love doing that because then I have some color to write on and I think it looks really nice. But I just, I think it's really pretty. Um, but with what I have left, any suggestions? Look, this would look cute on here because it all coordinates. The colors coordinate. This looks just as good on here as it does on here. And I like it. I liked the picnic basket idea with the vellum that made a bread bag. So see, this one is how you made a bread bag. But again, my bread never looks like this. So I changed the shape of the bread. I mean, my bread just doesn't look like that. And then it went in the bag with a flower. Come on, hand. 
with a flower like this, it just stuck on here. I added the cheese and then it added a tag and that's how easy that went. Good morning, Penny. Look, I looked over right as, it, right as she popped up. So that was really cute. That's the original one. And the other one, I folded back and did this. Oh, I lost the tag. Wait a minute. Well, the tag stuck to something. Because I had the thinking of you tag here with Bo. <laughs> One of these little tags. I'll find it. It's here somewhere. It's or it's stuck to another card. That always happens. As soon as I quit looking, I'll find it. So I'm going to quit looking. So this one had a little cute tag on it that said, thinking of you. So this is my last one. Any suggestions? Again, I can put this guy on here. I don't mind the, the loaf when it's in the basket. Let's, but I do like, let's do this. All right. Okay, I have a plan. Check on a plan. We're going to do it this way again. I'm going to fold it backwards. I'm going to fold it this way. I could put this here, which would be cute. And then I could put some flowers down here which would be cute. I could put, it has the little fruit here. It's kind of hard to see. Stephen up had me add a loaf of bread to the front of it. I could put some cheese down here. I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. I could also put the bread here and put it in the bag. Tuck it in here. Oh, we still have this basket like we did on this one. Not that one. This one. I could put that across the bottom and have a cute little basket of flowers down there at the bottom. I also have this. See, Stamp It Up gives me so much extra stuff. I could add my berries across the bottom. And I could put some berries up here. And it all coordinates. So, it, again, if you don't get paper pumpkin, you don't have to. But there's all kinds of cute things you can do. Again, I've got lots of alternatives. You can sit and play with it, or you can do it exactly like Stamp It Up tells you to. Just scooch that up a little bit more. Because this is kind of cute too. I always like something when I'm going to do this that hangs over. And so you have a choice. You can adhesive this down, or you can make it so that it opens up and you can see this. Or you can adhere it down so it just opens like this. Either way. All right. I'm going to look to see if anybody has any brilliant ideas. Let's see. <laughs> yes, rounding the bread helps, Mary. It makes it look more like a loaf of bread. I don't know whether in other countries the bread looks like this, but I mean, I thought like paper pumpkin was kind of exclusive to us. And if it is, my, my bread don't look like that. And I do make French bread. So there I've rounded the corners. I'm going to skinny this loaf a little bit. My bread is also not this color. I have a nice golden brown. This is a little Cajun craze. All right, friends, I'm going to finish this card and then I will um, post the pictures under my pictures on my Facebook page. You can find the video on YouTube. I may do another unboxing and do it again on YouTube. Wait, where am I? Here I am. I didn't look at, oh yeah, see, I don't have my light on. I'm a little dark this morning, but that's okay. I still have my drink. See? This is one of those mugs with a story. I love my mugs. 
this one i'm a big drinker so i like a big mug during the day because i drink i just drink a lot of water and i um tea and so my husband was unloading the dishwasher one day and this is like a tj maxx mug i probably paid 4.99 for it so um i was unloading the dishwasher he was unloading the dishwasher one day and he broke it and he didn't tell me i was like what did i do with my mug and then i went oh well i have plenty of mugs so i started using another one well for christmas he like found one on ebay and he wrapped it up and he was so proud of himself but i'm like okay thank you honey you probably paid way more than the 4.99 and i just got another one out of the cabinet <laughs> but it was a thought it was the thought all right thanks for joining me good morning mrs Dieterlin. yes i'm a drinker i'm a drinker i can't help it i like to drink all day long it keeps me hydrated um i'm not going to be one of those you won't see me where i've dehydrated anywhere because i'm a drinking all right well friends have a great day thanks for joining me i'll finish my paper pumpkin I have a hard time free free styling with stamping. Next week will be more organized because I am sweating. See, my arms are down here so you can't see the sweat. All right, friends, have a good day. Bye.